Hey guys, y'all see this? This is the beginning of the best pesto there is. Miss Lippy brought these plants to me as little bitty plants. So I'm going to be harvesting some and I'm going to make pesto. Really, really good pesto because Miss Lippy and Jan from Not A Real Farm started a collab. Then it turned into a challenge. And now, let's see who makes the best pesto. Bring it on, girls. A good pesto starts with the finest ingredients. Miss Lippy's basil, she brought me the plants. A few peppers, garlic, onions, olive oil, Parmesan cheese. I'm adding pecan meal instead of pine nuts. This is my secret ingredient to my pesto. Miss Lippy brought me two little plants of basil. And look at that. And that's just a portion of it. I just got a little of it. We've got basil everywhere. I'm going to be using some for some tomatoes that I'm going to roast in the oven. And the rest we're going to be using for pesto. And I don't want the stems in my pesto. Easy way to have basil, and we're going to work with the pesto, but that's what I'm fixing to do now is add these two tomatoes and roast them. And then we're going to work on pesto. And it smells amazing in here. In this dish, I have sliced tomatoes on the bottom. I added basil on top and three cheese blend from Kraft. It is uh, Romano, Asiago, and Parmesan cheese. And then I added the little cherry tomatoes. I'm adding more basil. And topping it with more cheese, these three cheese. I'm gonna bake this about 20, 30 minutes in the oven. And you're talking about awesome baked tomatoes. This is amazing. And then, what doesn't get eaten, I will add it to some shredded zucchini. Top it with a little more cheese. And voila. Zucchini spaghetti bake. Mmm, it is delicious, guys. Alright, in my Ninja, I've added all my um, basil leaves. I took the stems out. I'm going to add just a handful of onion, chopped onion. Most does not call for onion. It calls for garlic, but I like a touch of onion in mine. We're going to be throwing in a couple of cloves of garlic. This is deep south garlic. Everything here came from deep south. The onions, the basil, the garlic. Throwing in a couple of sweet peppers. I'm going to drizzle a touch of oil. Doesn't take a whole lot. Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to dump the rest of that in there. And now, look at that oven roasted tomatoes. I just got them out of the oven. They're hot. Gonna go into that. It's got three cheese blend. It's got Asiago, Romano, and Parmesan, as well as some basil. Just baked goodness going in this. And remember, this is a pesto collab. It's a challenge. Who makes the best pesto? Deep South Tomatoes Baked. Oh my. Now I'm going to put a spoonful or two in there just because we can. And you know what? I'm going to pour the juice. I 
I'm going to dump all my stuff, but a touch. All right, so we're ready to see what the pesto is going to come out like. And the ninja, if I need more of something. It's going to need a little bit more olive oil. See a few leaves that haven't got done yet. Smells really good. One more time. Doesn't that look great? The best pesto. Let's see what it tastes like. You can see the tomatoes in it. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, pesto. Lippy, you think you can beat it? Let's see. Oh, I forgot. The best pesto around, and I forgot nuts, so we're gonna sprinkle some on top. What do you think? Doesn't that look amazing? Just a little bit of pecan to drizzle it out. Best pesto around, guys. What do you think? This is going to be awesome. All right, Libby. I like to mess up because I forgot the pecans. But it's great shredded on top because it's pecan meal. Let's taste it. Let's see if Wanda's pesto is going to beat Lippy's and Jan's. Jan, we're coming at you, girl. Y'all, the tomato, oh my, it just added another flavor to a pesto by adding the tomato into it. Mm. Y'all, now that's good. Lippy, can you and Jam beat it? Mm -hmm. You know it's good when you can't stop eating. Guys, I got a recipe coming up. I'm just going to add some of this pesto to. Show you in just a few minutes. The shredded zucchini in pieces like this is amazing. I've been freeze drying it, saving it like we can use it like spaghetti. Today, I'm just going to add some of my tomatoes across the top of it, uh, the baked tomatoes. I'm going to add some of the pesto to it, and I'm going to top it in cheese and cook it about 40 minutes in a 375 oven. The rest of the zucchini that I don't use is going into a freeze dryer tray for future meals. Alright guys, the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of spray on the bottom. We're going to add our zucchini because this is our pasta. Add it in. Like that. We're going to add a touch of salt. I did add salt to the other, but we're going to add a touch. I'm going to sprinkle some of the tomatoes in here. We're going to add a touch of pesto, 
just smear out some in there. We don't want it just gobbed up, but we want a little bit in a few places to give it some flavor. Add a touch more zucchini across the top. I am adding queso blanco, a cheese dip. I had some in the fridge from a previous video. You can't go wrong with too much good old cheese. You really can't go wrong with too much shredded cheese. Look. If that don't make you want to zucchini bake, I don't know what will. Let's put it in the oven. Pesto. Pesto and chips. Delicious. Then I took some of the pesto and made my uh, casserole with some of my roasted uh, tomatoes. Y'all, all three dishes are amazing. You have to try them. And guys, check out Miss Lippy. Check out Jan at Not A Real Farm. See how they make pesto? Y'all, I think mine is going to be good. But I don't know about theirs. Y'all have to check it out. Come back and tell me. Try all three and tell me whose pesto tastes the best. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.